So I just want to show you real quick. I'm looking to maybe set up and, uh, you know, play Tesla for a really short trade. And so at the end of the day, we've got uh, nine minutes left here in the last 10 minutes of trading. And so um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and what we can see is you can see this selling off at the end of the day here in this last five minutes. And what I was observing as I was watching this level up here and uh, coming into the day to decide if I wanted to get in on this was up here at the uh, on the spy, you see how we started the top out. We had a pretty good, this is the total day's move on the spy. This is where we opened and this is the high of the day. And so what I started to watch is that we started to hit this uh, 3806 to, um, this 38112 range and kind of get trapped in there and then I was watching to see if at the end of the day on this last candle if we would start to get this selling right and so now coming into the last uh, five minutes and uh, when we hear the bell here now we'll watch and we'll see if you get a flush if you get a, a move down to this uh, 3800 if it holds around this 3800 then um, the selling could be done. And so that's kind of how I determine this stuff. So at the end of the day, what that means is on Tesla, just an idea. I mean, it could always be wrong, but what I see happening in here is that if I get into this play today, um, that would be fine, be acceptable, it's okay, it's okay. But if we break that 3,800 and have more selling, we could get another retest of this range and that's all i'm seeing at the at the close so i'm going to hold off on that until tomorrow you know and so but if i had seen right so if i had seen this here start to you see how it's at the end of the day there's all this volume coming in but if i had seen this continue in some of these candles these uh little five minutes start to close in this direction and tesla was still down then i might have jumped in on that for a little swing trade that's just a thought, you know, it's like, you know, these are risky things to do in a way, but Tesla is, um, you know, if I got caught holding some Tesla at 200 bucks, I'm not too worried about it. Right. And you can see right now it's flushing out a little bit. And then, um, I did sell a little bit of the UNG, uh, right around, I think I sold out around, I sold half my position around here, took profit. And then, um, my uh, my entry now is right here 2102 and so i don't know the news on this yet but it is doing what i thought it would do and uh it's seasonality and um we're getting ready to move into the cold season and we will see how this plays out but this is a good entry and i'm happy with it and so yeah those are those thoughts and the last thought on the day is that you know, as I was watching and seeing what was happening with the SPY here and the SPX is moving up, you know, bull, it's pretty bullish for considering the circumstances, but TLT is not cooperating at all. And so this could be a gap fill. That's a possibility right there, that kind of thought. But if TLT doesn't cooperate, it doesn't really matter what the rest of this does. You know, eventually this has to Either this is going to come down and bounce, or it could come, <clears throat> or it could bounce from here. Either one of these things has to happen for, you know, any real uh, market kind of reversal. So I don't think that we're going to have that this week. I think it's going to stay stuck in this range. So, which ultimately would just lead to more downside for the market in general. And then on uh, Bitcoin here, it's pretty much. You know, it did this kind of, um, like I talked about, it did, this red line was my uh, line of like, if it broke out of this box, we would tap this red line. And it looks like we even went over that a little bit. Um, my attitude hasn't changed at all on Bitcoin. I see this all as a, uh, as a bull trap here and, um, you know, that's just is what it is. As everybody starts to talk, you know, now people start to get some confidence back. That's what happens is 
people just forget and, you know, they start to talk all this, um, bullshit and, uh, they just forget what they felt like two weeks ago when Bitcoin was back here. And so this is just a, I think that's just a bull trap. The idea that Bitcoin is going to suddenly break out, um, is ridiculous. So could just look like one of these. We haven't had much volatility, so, you know, it's kind of interesting. It could just be one of these kind of situations, you know, that's more probable than not. So I'm hanging in there with the uh, Bitcoin shorts. All right, peace.